All right, let's look at three times Jesus stole stuff from people. Welcome to Bonkers Bible Stories. What is this, part four? I'm using the word stole a little bit loosely because he didn't always keep the stuff. Sometimes he just destroyed it. So let's call this his rap sheet of property crimes. And I'm not even going to count the one man riot through the temple. That time he got mad at a fig tree for not having any figs when figs were out of season. So he killed it with magic. Somebody owned that tree, boss. Here's hoping Jesus doesn't come to your house and kill your blueberry bushes because they're dormant in the winter. That time he sent his buddies to nab him a donkey so he could ride into Jerusalem, especially humble. Fast forward two millennia and it's like saying, look at that 1980s Corolla. You could hotwire that pretty easily. If anyone says, what the hell are you doing? Tell them you're on a mission from God. And the fact that the owners did ask what they were doing and didn't stop them does not make it not theft. That time he used demons to drown 2,000 pigs and then didn't really give it a second thought, perhaps because the owners of the pigs wouldn't have been Jews and Jesus was known to be, what shall we say, ethnocentric? But that's for another video. Come along if you want to. Or unfollow. I'd understand that too.